When's the last time you've been here? Or have you ever? It's not as creepy or morbid as people say it is. More serene, more romantic, in the poetic sense. The power and wonder of humanity is sealed like a treasure chest only six feet under our very existence, yet we never take the time to turn off our cell phones, put down our non-fat lattes, and pay our respect. This may seem irrelevant in your hectic and mundane lives, but when you become the treasure, who will seek you? At least now I can take some time to adore the view and listen to the placid breathing of the ubiquitous relics. What? You don't hear it? Well, only those of us skilled in the art can interpret this medium, this ultrasound of Mother Nature's womb. But still, try harder. At least I still know where my dad hides his gun. In hindsight, I guess I didn't really need a decal. Shema Yisrael Ananai Elohinu Elanai Echad. Finally, I can be with my loving husband again. The stock market wasn't the only thing to plumb and hit rock bottom. Ningún poema puede describir el dolor que se siente cuando se corta con una cuchilla. Walking here, amidst a plethora of life's souvenirs, among the spirits of so many tourists, I somehow feel alone in a crowd. Only my empty thoughts to occupy such a shallow soul. But which thought should be my epitaph? Which will pass on all of my wisdom to the next lonely wanderer? If I knew this now, there would be no reason for me to continue living. Luckily, I never give it much thought. My, my friend said, said that my parents, parents wouldn't find, find out if I used a hanger. They, they were wrong. wrong. The doctor swore it was just another routine operation. It's my fault, really. College guys don't like to hear us say no. I shouldn't have missed class that morning. He promised that he had been tested. My mail m'a toujours dit de mettre ma ceinture. Solitude is my only friend, but not by choice. Sure, you seem merely an inattentive student who has no revere for society, but I see an empty casket with no pallbearers. It's not easy walking through God's garden and being the only weed. Of course, I try to be a rose, or even just some moss on the wall, but you see through my facade. You remind everyone of my miseries, and for this, I thank you. As much as you would like to ignore my life, it is simply inevitable. There are more people similar to me than you realize. No, you can't label us as some underground cult, or even worse, a fraternity. We're actually normal members of society who conform to all of your paternalistic laws on a daily basis. We live, pay taxes, and die just like you. And I think that's what's troubling you the most. I am just like you. Sure, you live in denial and will imprison this sudden revelation for the rest of your formulaic existence, but I won't forget, and neither will they. Your Lord answered, he would give me a piece of candy if I got in.